that's not a good idea. Yeah, I know, considering. Whoops! It's like you that. saying, damn, I really hate Derek a lot. But you pretty much did during that Mario Party game. <laughs> <laughs> Great, now I got. I still. Oh, I'm not gonna spoil. But I had a fun time. Ah! You can probably spoil What's spoil in after this you thing, this anyway? This will probably go up after those. Look at the silver medal champion, Brian. And the non winner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got my butt left by the AI. We all know that. Oh, Mario no. Party's not a game you're good at, it's a game you're lucky at. Uh, uh, sigh, I'm done, sir. That was a very, very direct sigh. Alright. Alright. That's an enough for. Oh, god damn. What? Are you letting me? I want to hear what you can say. If you can't say, you'll be loading more buckets than I ever took. Wow! Most of my duties are all around riding. Reading. Whatever. <laughs> so I hardly care actual flying on our old ship. It's gonna annihilate it, thank you. Well, they're pretty old, but the gears are in great shape. And the wheel is so light. It's really your response to the ship must be really tight turns. Huh! If someone's already been on the helm of a ship or something, the ship would have quite a while, boy. Yeah, he's been on the helm of ships that big, but not very much. That's what she said. Exactly. Uh, I spent a lot of time in the bridge of the air boat. The Albatross. Whatever. So I picked up a lot. Good. Oh, I'll see you in the back Our distance is uh, around about four leagues northward. Again, as I said in the last episode, 40 leagues, that's 40's arm length, that's like, I don't know how many feet, that's like 60 feet. That's not a lot. Well, there was one guy who in the last part was the lookout, and he didn't see the armada that attacked and kidnapped us until they were 1.5 leagues away from us. Jesus. I'm like, how do you not notice giant ships until they're like 4 feet away from you? Call it Jack, and I'm Dracula. Dracula? <laughs> Alright, let's stop falling around. Alright, I should explain this. His name's Dracula, not Dracula. Aye, aye, Captain Dracula. Dracula. Don't Dracula. get used to that. And we've got blue moonstones now, so now we can use blue element with our weapons. And I don't have my weakness chart. Is that like Brian, would you do me a favor and grab my game box? I will continue moving because I know most of the weakness off the top of my head. Are stones like materia or what? Oh! No. You're not that good of a sound. Anyway, this is a ship to Little Jack. This is the warm map, sorry. And as you can see, we now have a little ship health gauge over here and some equipment on it. I will explain these in depth later when we get to where it's relevant. What happened to Akea? What do you mean? I'm hey, Gus, she's with us. Uh, she's right there. Dracula joined our party. He's the third out of four party members. And I just didn't see her, like, during the entire yeah, event. Yeah. Dracula's really strong. I don't know why they're Sato's Island. And this is something that is not in the normal game. It's something that you had to download in the Dreamcast version, but they included directly in the GameCube port. Several other things that were Dreamcast downloads got in here anyway, so... What's a Kurt? Kurt voice, so I don't know. Can I help you? The ship is a very free medical vessel. Your hair is your treatment. You sick or something? <laughs> now we're fine. We're just passing through the area that saw your ship. So I figured we'd come and see how you were. Wait a second. Miracle has your weapons, your iPods, you the guy to the air pirates. <laughs> your dozen dime. These things are something that I want to ask you guys. Please come inside. I'd be very afraid if I talked to a guy with that kind of voice. You're gonna have to do it from now on. Whenever I leave. Oh god! That's what he sounds like. Uh, Hi. I apologize. Oh, is that the same guy? Yes. I apologize for the roughness. I know you don't really need my services. I have to get you what you say. But I have a favor to ask you. I have a hint here. Mark on my forehead. But well, first, <laughs> let me introduce myself. My name is Doc, or whoever everybody else calls me. But let me live in the way I want to. So fly the skies and heal the sick and injure the sailors takes me. Oh, and this is Maria. She's a little quiet and sly, but she's a good cat. Mm -hmm. Right. I'm just gonna check the uh, time real quick. That's cool. 20 minutes, so... 10 more minutes, and then we'll get down there. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, then we'll do it. There we go. Ha! This is the introduction of a side quest in the game. 
Basically, now we're getting the first collectible. The thing's called the Moon Lens. It's a special lens made from a moonstone. With it, you can say things you wouldn't normally be able to. Here, let me put the lens on. We're looking up button. Damn. What? 15 parts. Say ship, 
have to find Ramadan, and in the meantime, I have to find a cannon that fire or not to destroy him. I have no idea. Sorry, we're almost done with the talking. You're literally gonna stop the problem. And he's going to the party for drunk. Yeah. Well, this is just great. He's not listening to anything we were saying. I wonder if there's anything that we can make old man change his mind. Maybe we can dig up some information. Let's go around town so we can And that is the goal for right now. And of course, Draft has left the party. Bye, Dracula. And we didn't even get to see him in battle. Unless you grinded. Unless you grinded, but well, we didn't, so. Anyway, over here is the Sailor's Guild, the first place we want to kind of visit real quick. Uh, yeah. Now what you do is, oh, there, if you can again, you remember, we got that discovery for the Pirate's Grave. Here's where you can sell that and make a little bit of money, because we're going to make a lot of money throughout the game. And I'm sorry to bore Brian with this, but uh, if you can go here, uh, you can sell information. There's more discoveries we could have, but again, I don't want to bore Brian with the collecting. I'll be doing it right after we get out of here. And we can buy certain things like the ancient, ancient guide stone. That's a discovery just north of here if you want it. Here we also discover the wanted list where we can see the only one here is Balto the Black. Uh, we will get to him later. He's actually a part of the storyline that's required. Actually, this guy is also part of that little note there. The Nasra Nassar version, but yeah, that's one of the countries in the Arcadia. Uh, that's how you leave this bar track we just went, and going forward, I think there's something, yeah, treasure, with repair kits for, uh, ships, that's basically the Sacri crystal for ships. What? There's a, a healing spell for magic in the game called Sacri, that's the heal, uh, Sacri, etc., that's basically the healing for the ship. Anyway, we can check the sign. Remember I mentioned that uh, Dying's actually pretty famous among air pirates? You can see, I believe... No, he's not on there yet. Okay, well, eventually Dying will get on this list, and you can see some names on there that you might want to remember on there. You can see Dragma on there, actually, on the third slot down. one arm Dragma. But uh, there'll be more people on there later that we can recognize bigger names. Over here, we have the item store. The ship part store, and you can hear that annoying beeping starting over here. I'm going to ignore that for now. This is the goal of the area where you want to go to get the information to get Dracula. This is the inn. Here's the <laughs> weapon shop, and here's this for taking you with this guy. It's so good to be on solid ground! Oh, let me ground! Oh, sweet, solid ground! Just so good! Just like to be able to roll again or roll around the game like this. Ah, nothing beats being on solid ground. No more rolling motion. No more tilting. It's so beautiful. Good God. He will be there the whole 